we have tuned this car. It's a lower performance point and it is three seconds quicker. Hello everyone, Kirith here and I've got a lot of questions about people asking how to drive the Porsche 911 GT3 RS in Grand Tourism 7. Obviously an incredibly popular car in real life, absolutely iconic car, but very, very hard to drive. And the thing is, we developed a tune for this car live on stream and I think it might be a really good tune. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this car out absolutely stock and explain to you what the car's doing and then we're going to take out in our tune we're going to show you our tune so you can use it um, copy it use it yourself that's absolutely fine it's a tune that we developed actually live on the on the stream that I was doing daily race B so this is a real community tune and that's what this community on this channel is all about so we're going to go to this sheet three which is the stock setting so this is absolutely everything on default in fact just to show you I'll do, create another one so add sheet absolutely default and uh, we're actually on sport medium tyres, which are better tyres. But let's see how this car is to drive. I'm going to explain what I'm doing. We're at Suzuka, which I think is a great track to kind of test um, a lot of different characteristics about a car. Okay, so the, the brakes really aren't good. That was very stabby. And that was the second gear, not uh, first gear. Yeah, the back end really, really wants to come down. Doesn't give you any confidence to lay down the power. So... Again, on sports medium tyres, we're going to go to sports hard in the team, which are worse tyres, but now I don't have any confidence here in the brakes. Just about got that stopped, and the S is going to be an absolute nightmare. So let me know in the comments, is this, are you nodding at home saying, yes, this is exactly how the 911 is to drive for me? Um, and maybe you're enjoying me struggling this thing. Um, but don't worry, we're going to, we're going to show you the tune that we developed on stream and uh, it's going to make this much more enjoyable to drive because this is definitely a challenge but I wouldn't say it's enjoyable it seems a little bit it, it, it's kind of getting in the way of driving it just feels like it wants to head to the nearest barrier there we go throttle down and uh, it's very it's very kind of soft but also very easy to lose that back end on, on low speed acceleration. So that will sort out with the LSD, which is one of my big tips for tuning in Gran Turismo 7, by the way, is the initial torque setting on the LSD. You don't want to lock the diff coming out of corners and just have that right rear tyre deploying, deploying a lot of torque and trying to spin you off into the, into the barrier. Also lose a lot of traction kind of mid-speed here. There's not enough downforce really when you're actually going at enough speed to kind of get the ben benefits and downfall. So, you know, use the LSD, use the diff uh, for low speed corners like this and adjust the downforce for medium and high speed corners. So 130, 130R is, should be a great example. So coming up to 130R now, obviously very, very high speed corner. And I don't know how we're going to take this. Just, yeah, just understeer and oversteer together so, so the key thing about tuning is understanding oh we're going very deep here it's understanding kind of the different phases of um, cornering corner entry apex corner exit and at different speeds and uh, what you want to tune and tweak to kind of make that better so there we go that's a, a very bad two minute 14 lap time and by the way i haven't driven this car for a number of weeks now it's something that we did on tune uh, did on stream a few weeks ago so the, i'm not you know i haven't been practicing this is just um a one take as it were so we're going to go to our setting sheet here and i'm going to show you exactly what it is so feel free to note these down take a screenshot and uh this is what we did live on on streams we went through and we and we tweaked everything pretty much so on sports hard tires on worse tires you can see the initial torque on the diff is at a low, lower setting acceleration sensitivity is very low um, body high is actually higher at the front um, than the rear. Anti-roll bar very much stiffer at the front than the rear. Uh, ballast all the way at the front. That's my top tip. If you haven't seen my general top tips video, then check that out after this. Downforce, a lot of downforce at the rear. Uh, nothing at the front. So you can see we've really gone to the extremes on this setup. And there are upgrades as well. So we do have... What brakes do we have? We have carbon brakes, which I think are in the extreme tab. So... Right, so just need to make one more change because the BHP in our setup was much lower. So we're going to go to medium tyres and 
and we've got 593 BHP. So to compare that, this is a stock setup. Five, that's 525. Hang on. 525 BHP there on sports medium tires. And this one, we need to go 525. There we go. 521 BHP and we're on the same tire. So this is going to be the comparison. So now we're going out in the tuned setup. Whoa. Okay, definitely still alive, but I say still manageable. Still manageable. Let's see how we do. Now our gearing might be tuned a little bit more to the twisty stuff. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a lot easier to, it's a lot more malleable. It's a lot more malleable. about that ghost because we're taking much better lines for the S's and you only really find out when you get spat out at the end here. Just how much time you've gained and there we go that is a lot of time chat through sector one. A lot of time. And this car I've already got a smile on my face because it's way more responsive to drive. And it doesn't feel like it's going to kill me, so it's allowing me to kind of express myself a bit more. Don't get me wrong, it's still a difficult car to drive. You've still got to drive it sensibly. But there we go again, a lot of time gained out of that hairpin. That'll be the LSD. Now what's going to be super interesting is going to be 130R. Speed now. Laying it down. Wow, that is a huge difference. So remember, chat, th these cars have the same BHP. And I think this car has possibly has weight as well. Just have to check. Yeah, feeding it through to see that our previous goes very much sideways. And we did go too deep here in the go, so this isn't going to be completely representative. Now, this one is still tricky. See there? Stepping out a little bit, but there we go. That's going to be um, three seconds quicker. Three seconds quicker with a tune. I mean, that is absolutely huge. And I just wonder, there might be more weight in, in our car as well. Let's have a look. So yeah, feel free to use the team. Uh, please do feel free to subscribe as well if this has helped you out. So you can see that, yeah, more than three seconds quicker. And let's have a look. Yeah, we've got 64 kgs of ballast in here. And here we got no ballast. So absolutely unbelievable. And ironically, the PP is lower. The PP is lower in the tune setup. So this is a really important video, everyone, because if you're in Gran Turismo 7 and you're PP restricted, tuning is massively, massively, massively OP. It's not as simple as just putting on upgrades on your car. We have tuned this car. It's a lower performance point and it is three seconds quicker than the stock with the higher performance points. That is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Right, I really hope this video has helped you out. Do free to subscribe if you want to see more guys like this. We're going to continue helping you guys and girls out for the life of Gran Turismo 7. I spent 500 hours in Gran Turismo Sport last year and absolutely loving Gran Turismo 7. But I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.